moly, everybody. You just missed some stupid excitement. Welcome to Sidehitch, by the way. Um, Landon's running the controls tonight. A Amy's off to the side because uh, uh, her and Denise just had to. Woody had a little bit of a run in with Gus pulling on his air, enough that it was bleeding very badly. Uh, you know what? Like a head wound, that amount of blood. What? Uh, we weren't sure what was happening because it was literally, I go out through the garage and Denise is just covered in dog blood and I thought, oh my God, he's bitten him in the throat. And I'm <laughs> so anyways, uh, here we are and we are, you know, doing what we do. How is everybody and how, you know, what's up? What is going on? Apparently I can't see myself. That's fine. I can see you. Am I good? Can you hear me? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, there I am. Okay, so what are we making? We're making uh, what we think is pronounced. I didn't look. I didn't get a pronunciation. Esquites? We were going to make a bunch of stuff. We Sounds made. right. Yeah. E-S-Q-U-I-T-E-S. -E -E and they're fritters. Mm. Um, it's like a, kind of a Mexican street corn variation. I think esquites is like a lote. Um, but, you know, and then on top of that, we're going to make a, with a Mexican firing squad uh, cocktail, which is tequila, grenadine, lime juice, oh, and bitters. So I need, I forgot about the bitters. I'm going to bring uh, the Angostura bitters and the Angostura orange bitters. Maybe just get a, like a, last week when we made the drink with the orange bitters? Yeah. I forgot to put mine in mine. Oh. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Uh, it was good. So here we go. So here's the thing I always forget about bitters because I think bitters is bitter. Think they're bitter, and they're really not. And I know John taught me this. Like they're more about the aromatic. Uh huh. And so even when I say don't put that in mine, you should still put it in. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay. Don't worry. I'm on it. So um, we got to do. Oh shoot! Did you put the enchiladas in? Please put the enchiladas in. Oh yeah. Oh, and I also need to get the stuff to make the 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 sauce, which we need oh, to make yeah. first. What sauce? Um, the dipping sauce. Oh. For the sauce, it says. We need this sauce. sour cream, mayonnaise, and the rest of it is already out here. So we're going to do that first. Because, you know, why not? Right, Landon? Yes. Landon, what have you been up to? We haven't seen you in the last few weeks. Yeah, I know. I've been uh, entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Can't remember right now. Hi, Ping. Um, and then you're going on a big two-week vacation, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. To the Europe. Yep, going to Europe. That's fun. Yeah. Should be good. Uh, Hopefully, it is. Yeah. Speaking of vacations, um, I think what is it? The twenty-fifth. Right? Is that is that correct? March twenty fifth? Is that a Saturday? I don't know. Yeah. No. Not the Tuesday. Yeah. What's today? The sixteenth. The twenty third. Um, that's a hold week on, from hold on. No. Don't listen to me. The thirtieth, we will not be here. But we will be traveling to Portland and we'll be bringing the stuff and like normal we'll do a show from there. So Sorry. Um, man, this week, this week, got nice and warm, but this yeah, week, it sure did. Um, I gotta tell you, it seemed to just drag on. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Didn't you? No. No, because. Um, oh, that's right. You started your groups this week. I started my groups. I'm doing eight thirty-minute groups. But what did you do to yourself? Fun. Uh, I plan them from 11 to 3 o'clock, so I have no time to eat my lunch. Unless she wants to eat her lunch at 10.30. This is not a good situation. So. But I have found, uh, I found out on Friday, the kids are pretty forgiving. I've had to say, I'm so sorry, I haven't eaten lunch yet. Because they have all eat lunch. Or they're going to lunch when they see me, so they're okay. It's just me being a weirdo. Well, you know, we're weirdos. What do we want? Also, I kept forgetting anything to heat my lunch up in, so I kept having to eat my lunch out of coffee cups. <laughs> That's 
how I roll, apparently. I'm not, I'm not so, sure you should be left alone. I know, right? That's what I told you. I have to get my food situation under control because it is not working out. Yeah. Um, I am currently um, scanning, trying to figure out some new cables for our house because I bought some couches. She, so like, if anybody has a recommendation. Like, hates them. Like, almost in a, in a sort of a... Adversarial. Yeah. yeah. I, they mock me every time. I, I feel like you made favorite. you made the purchase. You made you feel like I made this mistake, I and did. I'm not going to live with it, and you let it vex you. And it's a very expensive mistake because there are two of them. Which, you know. And we need to because the room is large and yeah they just think me mad large and in charge I was thinking that so does anybody have a really good couch they like what's wrong with the couch they're ugly color and there's nothing I can do about it well where have you thought about painting them I have thought about painting them and dyeing them and all kinds of things <laughs> But because of the material they are made from, you can't do it. I cannot. What about reupholstery? I have thought about that as well, but the cost of yeah. reupholstery in this town is so expensive. I might as well just buy new. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Or learn to do it myself, which I mean, I suppose that wouldn't be any worse. We got now Piper's like limping for some reason. I mean, listen, we're falling apart here at Ben Bookend, but. We got really exciting news. Denise has almost a completed house. Aside from some smaller, like, caulking and the countertop coming in, it's, I mean, there's furniture, there's appliances, there's boxes everywhere. <laughs> Pretty soon we're going to be able to say, Denise has left her cake out. That's right. But that's pretty exciting because, you know, I know that was a, that was we well we put Denise and I were kind of in charge of some, most of the electrical. Denise did a lot, but I did some of it. And one time when I was putting in a switch, I forgot the basic tenets of how a switch works and uh, hooked all the wires up. In which I don't know what I was thinking, and I turned the switch and the little like dimmer box thing. It's like like and it goes it goes pop. <laughs> and made you know that blue spark that happens when a, when, a, when a controller explodes and the whole sky lights up. Yeah, that happened. So. Did it smell like electrical burning? Um, no, no, because this was a pretty fancy um, thing, uh -huh. and so it had. Uh, uh, I think it just had. It was smarter than you, and it didn't start a fire. Well, I mean, yeah. listen. Sometimes it's not hard to be smarter than I me. I think the pot was all contained within the box. Uh huh. Uh, okay. You're okay. The dogs don't like that they're all contained right now. But guess who doesn't care? So I'm microplaning this garlic, and it's really going to disappear in the sauce because we don't want any chunkage. And because I'm microplaning, and there was a little bit of green in there from it starting to sprout because it's spring, almost. Right in there. Just, whoops. I did it again. I'm, I am all fumbles. What are you doing there? there? I don't know. I think it's because it's wet now and I'm, you know. How are you guys? Out Butterfinger here? Bookie. Oh my God. I will fight you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we've got that going on. It's pretty exciting. Um, and just in general, I mean, we're coming up on, what did we decide? We're pretty much almost, it was a year? And yeah. the, at the initial we left, estimate? We left for that vacation on like the 8th or 9th. That's right. So that's when I was last sleeping in my house. So oh, that's crazy. it is very crazy to think about. But yeah. also, especially since when they like kind of did the initial estimates, what they say like? Uh, oh, two to three months. Yeah, two to three months. months. And then it was like she didn't even get contacted by anybody until July, from March to July. So the time they said they'd be done. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. They didn't even. I have a perfect person for this job, and his name is Tom Wiz. Ooh. 
Tiny whisk. Yeah, huh? that, exactly. Thing. They don't like, but they, they're just not good animals. What, what are good animals? Well, I mean, that's not true. Our dogs bite each other's faces. Hi, DV. Welcome to the Welcome to the program. Welcome to the party. I'm making a little dipping sauce. But it's, I, you know, it seems just white. And for, you know. Oh, you, you know, know what? what? You didn't even need to make that. Because you bought that. Because we bought that cilantro lime crema sauce. Yeah, that, that would have been good to know about 10 minutes ago. Cool, I forgot about that too. Well, that would be You just maybe. sounded like Bill Clinton after something weed <laughs> for a second. <laughs> I swear to God. Taste it. I mean, it tastes like garlic, lime juice, mayonnaise, and sour cream. Ooh, that. Would it be good, like, will it be good, like, on the enchiladas? Yes, it would be. But <laughs> the, okay. the, the garlic oh. has got a little spice to it. Mm. So, what, what's that tiny whisk? No. Can't say that on yeah. That's that's no. This is a family show. Yikes. Tiny whisk. Come on now. Oh, oh, yeah. What did you do this morning, Doug? We went estate sailing. What did you find? I found Tiny Whisk's slightly larger brother. Almost Tiny Whisk. No, we. Uh, he's pretty tiny. I'm on the lookout for all kinds of them. We found one that was not a Tiny Whisk, which is you know like. We have tiny whisk, and then this, you know, we have two, a whisk that, you know, this is too big. What are you doing with this? Nothing. It's as big as my head. Um, man, it was like. I would say this is tiny whisk's slightly sturdier brother. Yeah. <laughs> and you yeah. can't use them because he needs to be washed, but you can show it. So, oh, oh look at that. Okay. Look at that. What's up, guys? I'm Tiny Whisk. <laughs> he does need a bit of a bath, but yeah. yeah. Oh, he's really firm. Yeah, see? He's the husky brother. <laughs> he's just big bone. He he's just big bone. <laughs> hey, speak, it all, husky always reminds me because when I was a child, I had to wear jeans that were husky size. Oh, I listened to this whole comedian thing talk about that. Yeah. The pants that pants that, that I had to get that were I on, imagine you mean husky that were on uh, layaway. So I'm so poor. Is uh the inspiration for the voice of Tiny Whisk a combination of Mr. Hanky and uh, Towley? Yes, I mean it's very close. <laughs> <laughs> it is a it's and I think Mr. Poopy Butthole. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, from Rick and Morty. There's a it's you know he's just. All right, you no, better get started here, man. Right. We're fine. We're fine. Five minutes in. We're fine. There's a 17th. No, oh, wait, that was the Spanish rice, or Mexican rice. Yeah. We're gonna make. So we're, we're eating breakfast, and we're like, what should we make for, uh, and Naomi's like, well, I want to make enchiladas for dinner. And I was like, okay, well, we can make Mexican rice. And then she, I was like, I, I was like, I'm pretty sure we made Mexican rice. Sure enough, episode 55. And then I, Naomi's like, we should make refried beans and, um, what was the other thing you were talking about? Oh, queso fundido. Yeah. Turns out episode 53 featured both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there we go. So what are we doing? All right, we're going to make this. We're going to make the sauce, whisk it together. We're done. Uh, now we have to make the flour, the cornmeal, the baking powder, salt, sugar, chili powder, and freshly ground powder pucker together. No, did I say brown? I don't know what you just said. Yeah. It's not. It's not Miracle Whip. It's. It's. We'd be better at it. <sighs> Gross. Okay. Hey, so, everybody, like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Do that. Do that. Um, I changed the title of last week's episode to be a little bit clickbaity. Did you see it, everyone? Yeah. I changed it from, you know, the normal title to Did I Just Make the Most Perfect Loaf of Bread Ever? Question mark. And if I was really, really on top of it, I would have put come, must watch and find out. Or somebody said, 46-year-old uh, man makes bread. 
see how it, it see if it turns out any good. You know, there's all these clickbaity titles. So I don't think they're referring to me. <laughs> That's Landon. Danny. That's our my friend Landon, our friend Landon. So we have a half cup of flour. We're going to do a quarter cup. Man, I don't have anything prepared. Well, that's what hey. happens when, you, when you're... I got a lot of stuff out for you. Yeah, you did, but I don't have the measuring cups. You got everything that, to make the stuff, but I didn't get any of the measuring cups. Oh, Lord, you could do some of it yourself. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> I like how you're now referring to yourself through the side dish account in third person. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be helpful if I said me. That's true. <laughs> we collectively. Well, stick to the script. What, there's no script. What do you think this is? Some sort of production? Um, quarter cup of cornmeal. One teaspoon coming right up of baking the, the powder. The one that comes in the round thing and not the box that goes in your refrigerator. I'll tell you what. What you don't want to do is if the recipe calls for baking soda, you don't want to take the stuff that's been in your refrigerator for two years no. and use it. You want to know why? <laughs> Have you, has anybody else ever done that? Because what, you know, it's there to absorb odors. And it does. And so when you use it, all of those terrible odors that have been absorbed over two years go into your food. Yeah. And then you go like this. Oh. It's terrible. Uh, kosher salt. I have some of that. Well, yeah, of course, because Theo knows that I'm amazing. Oh, Theo. Um, we got one teaspoon of kosher, diamond kosher salt. This is like, a, you know, we're mixing, we're mixing them like a kind of a thing, and we're going to put, were you just checking your pulse? No, I yawned too hard. It might, it sounds like a little cramp. Oh, here. okay. I, we were discussing before we were discussing before we went live. I don't know, maybe. But I was discussing before I went on the air that I have like a blood pop blood vessel in my in my thumb that's all bruised up. I have this burn that I got from taking bread out of the oven this week. I have uh, like a, on my I'm just in, I'm just falling apart. Was it the best bread ever that you were taking out of the It oven? sure was. Um, what I did was, is I converted it to weight this week. And so it's interesting because turns out not everything is one to one. Like when you're like, if you convert it on your phone, it just didn't, it didn't work. That's what I started with. And then I did another batch in which I upped, I don't know where my recipe went, but. Um, your recipe for what? For the bread that you thought oh, was a love note. Oh, it's in the, uh, it's in, the, yeah, I thought Doug was writing me a love note, and no, it was a bread recipe. It's because I've wrote, written her a love note on the punk, on the Happy Halloween thing before. So, what is it? Oh, yeah, milk was more than what the conversion from cups to that was. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's what I, that's how I burn myself. Fun story. Great job. Keep moving, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not good. You don't have anything in the pan, and it's on. Well, How are you doing that? Well, because I, you know, I just like to play how fast can Doug burn himself. <laughs> and with that happening, it would have been a lot. Okay. What was that ingredient you just put in? That was a, tablespoon, a teaspoon of chili powder. Mm. And this is just... Uh, you know, feel with your heart and black pepper. Good job keeping them honest, man. <laughs> like to slip things in there. Yeah, I know. Listen, I'm just, I'm prone. I'm prone to it. It's just how it goes. Okay. Now, again, I don't have everything I need because I'm not prepared for anything in life. I have everything I need, ingredient-wise, but not what I need here. Okay, so you got buttermilk. Now, this, luckily I found this uh, actual... Uh, regular size bottle of buttermilk in oh, which yeah. you don't that's need. Sweet. Yeah, I got it. Had to get it from the Sprouts because that's where I saw it before. But this is an organic cultured reduced fat buttermilk with vitamin A. Uh, it has low temperature pasteurized live and active cultures. It from grass fed cows even, Ooh. and on a regenerative farm. On a what? 
regenerative farm. OK, so we need a third of a cup. And this is at room temperature, everybody. I, don't, I think that's to help it cook uh, more evenly. Not evenly, but you know, to, so it's not, not cold going into hot oil. Or, yeah, whatever. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. I'm looking forward to it. And again, this is just like, I think it's pretty st standard fritter batter, but. Batter. Fritter batter. Fritter batter, better one. Jack, you're okay. Yep, that sound you hear is Jack going. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I don't, they, they must know that a, a great change is coming in their life that they decided that we're just gonna, it's gonna go sideways. I'm melting butter and I don't know how much it is. Oh, yeah, now I do. It's uh, two, two tablespoons. tablespoons. That's right. I measured it out for you. I know, because you're amazing. With two tablespoons, the measurements on the butter are not out today. Yes, no, no. And how did we How did we learn that today? What did, what did you do today when baking landed? Yeah, I got a little confused and uh, counted up the uh, tablespoon markings on the stick of butter. And thinking there are ounces, I needed four ounces, and I put four tablespoons in. And when I melted it and mixed it with the mix, I was like, why is this so dry? So, um, I haven't tried what I created yet, but we will all see <laughs> as a team how they turned out. I mean, they look good. They look good. And you know what I love about it is that, that you were super upfront about it. And they're squishy. And they're no. Well, no. you know, maybe it's better that way. It could be. Maybe it's the best brownie. You never or know. The best blondie, blondie brownie ever. that has ever been yeah. made. You you crack the planet. planet. You crack the code. Yeah, like like a flaming mo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the best cocktail oh, ever. The secret is cock <laughs> <laughs> Um But I do have a the rolls the mom the mom's rolls recipe that I had got and I've been using for Thanksgiving forever. The lady in that recipe, who's it's from, she said um, that she did that once and put put a whole stick of butter in instead of half a stick of butter, and she said it turned out just fine. So you know, it's it's who knows? Yeah, we'll see. It's good. Excuse me, why is this little man wearing a Slytherin outfit? Yeah. He is not in Slytherin. No. That, what is what is that? Okay. It's all bullshit. What are we doing? That's true. That's true. All right, so we need corn. So we need one and a half cups of corn. Now the great part about this is you can use frozen corn for this, because that makes it so that you can do this in the winter time. Isn't that nice? And I got um, super sweet corn. That's what it literally says on here. Summer Peak Organic Super Sweet Yellow Corn. I don't know. It was at the it was at the grocery outlet. And what you get from the grocery outlet, well, all good. Crap shoe. Know. It's a crap shoe brand wise. You it know, does look nasty on your arm. You should put a band-aid on I said to do that and Amy said no, you don't wanna you don't wanna show the audience what happened? Well I also you whatever. You did sure, believe me. Did you say that? Nope. Can I get a replay, please? Yeah, I know that there was, yeah. Thanks, Landon. I don't mean to take sides here, but just the same facts, you know. <laughs> just same facts. Yeah. That's what happens. Get yourself a loyal friend like Landon. <laughs> I didn't hear it, Amy. Well, you were not here, Denise. So, two against two. I guess we'll just call it a tie. Yeah. That's not that's not how the, draw. That's not how this works at all. A draw on the truth. <sighs> you see what I gotta put up with everybody? I like to see Atlanta's camera work isn't any better than mine. Fake news is what I gotta say to all of that. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Oh. Dogs got me up early this morning. And then, I got you oh no, no, it, they were, they were barking first. And then I had the brand setters needed a waffle iron. And so, uh, I got, I'm, I'm not sure how it happened, but I think it's cause I got tricked. 
Uh, you did get tricked. <laughs> uh, I ended up taking it over there instead of Amy, which is who Teresa messaged because she knew I wouldn't be awake yet. And this, yeah. So, you know, it's just, it is, it is a thing. And I don't like, it's Saturday. I don't like getting up early. I don't like, you know. <laughs> Andrea says it took you 25 minutes to get to the corn in the corn freighter. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Yeah, awesome. And then Pink followed up with, "This is, yep, this will be a long one." <laughs> well, you know what's funny is that when we looked at the refried beans one, and uh, the, uh, there were three things we we made that day, and who knows uh, what kind of attempt we got with it. But the episode was an hour and a half long. <laughs> I think it's probably one of the longer ones. But I don't feel so bad because the other day. Um, Ping, Ping put in uh, our chat and our Discord about a suggestion of something I should make, and it turns out we already made it too. So when I when I made, tried to make uh, broccoli leek, no, no, leek and potato soup twice, and we pivoted to the whatever we made. Uh, oh yeah, it was a it was like a flatbread. Yeah, yeah, which turned out to be excellent. Yeah. Um, so I was just like, see, you make 185 of these episodes, which is what today's episode is, by the way. Um, and Teresa says next time she can pick up the item she, that she requests. No, it's oh, fine. I like it the way it is. Yeah, before. it worked out fine because <laughs> then I got to see at all the whole tour that Liam gave me, uh, and I'm pretty sure we decided that my name is Hey Doug um, because so though it I, I think he just says Hey everybody like he always says Hey Dad too. And we got to go estate selling because that was actually up. So that's true. And we it went, all worked out. We went to Mimi's Cafe for... We have not been there in a hundred years. How was it? It was good. It was good. Amy had a... I had a corned beef omelet. Yeah, mm. for, uh, for St. Patrick's Day. This is... Seems like too much jalapeno, but, you know, it's going to be fine. And yes, Andrea, it did take that long to get to <laughs> the corn. But you know what? You're all still here. Welcome to the show. Holy moly, we got like 10 people watching. Look at us. Yeah. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't Have you seen this show? <laughs> Don't screw up now, Bookie. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you're 185 episodes in, you should be a pro. And then you're going to watch me burn myself putting these fritters in the hot oil. That's what they're waiting for. Theo is having a good time watching this because he likes the color green. Well... I also like the color green. It, it happens to be Old Doug's favorite color. It's my favorite also. It's so, like... I don't think that's your favorite color. Uh, really? Well, you have a lot of... I guess you're wrong, Doug. Clothing, so... I, the, Why don't you have more green clothing? I don't buy my own clothes. That's true. As I was saying, I was like, I buy your clothes. <laughs> that's why you have green clothes. And when I, I know you like green. Okay, I'll buy you more green. Yeah, green is literally my favorite color. Sorry. That's cool. Well, you know, the things you learn about people. Yeah, we've only been together almost 20, <laughs> almost 22 years, so it's fine. Do fun. you know what my favorite color is? Pink. Oh, yep. Good job. <laughs> but I don't have, I, do I even own any pink clothing? Yes, I think. Do you know what my favorite color is? Yeah, pink get on the lights. Though I will say, color is pea green. speaking of likes, what I thought was hilarious is um, when I changed the title of the episode to the clickbait title, the, 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 the views did go up and we doubled likes from three to six. So we ended up at 40 likes for the video. That's clickbait to just say that? Well, because they say, you, sexy or controversial. They say stuff like, um, you know, you won't believe that. Oh. You know, 46-year-old man. Yeah, what is it? 46-year-old man makes bread. You won't believe how it turns out, which is what I should turn it to and see what happens next. I should just keep changing the episode title until I get as many likes as I possibly can. This is just the old, 100% vegetable oil. And just, which again, is actually... it's just soybean oil. 
because mm. some I look like a crazy lady who's just checking like the the expiration dates on milk, and I was at the store going, nope. We're looking for soybean oil. Nope, that's not soybean oil. Nope, that's not soybean oil. And I was looking, and I said, finally said to a worker, do you have soybean oil? And he goes, nope. We have vegetable oil though. And then I picked it up, and I was like, what what kind of vegetables are in here? And I was like. <laughs> because we, the best fish and tip, chips place they advertise cooked in soybean oil so I was really? like that must make it special so then we search for soybean oil and that's true Nate I mean I cat cats and dogs and, and pe uh, all the people it was true it's true alright so I'm going to turn this back on gotta keep the marriage right so why this is kind of where's my where's my where's my where's my gun? Beep, boop. Those are great for the kitchen. They yeah. are excellent for the kitchen, and you know I got I bought this because I needed to know which is why it's dirty pretty much. Um, I need to know how hot the pizza oven gets, uh -huh. and so yeah. this is like dunk gets me right where I need to be. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly like that. fabulously coiffed. Yeah. <laughs> We are. Oh, here you go. What's that? It was Your like, microphone? Oh, did that hurt? Everybody's here. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, I, I got this out and I didn't even point it at the oil. You're kidding. <laughs> What's our reading coming in at there? 228. Okay. Let me get a plate for these Not so I can put some there. paper towel hey, on them. Hey, camera work, camera work. <laughs> You just told Landon to make sure that the buttons were pushed, that we got the show set. That's all. That's it. He's doing He did you know, it. No, it's a hard job, guys. It is. Thank you. No, it is hard. Somebody understand me. I, I stream for the eSports club. And Walk a mile in my head. It's stressful, especially because on the, the game Valorant, which is one of the ones that we stream a lot of, um, it is. You have to like move the camera around to different players, and that shit is very stressful. So, you know, Before just destroyed my marriage. Five ways to avoid my mistakes. Just or saved my marriage. Five ways to learn how to save your own marriage. DP, you're now in charge. Yeah, you're in charge. You're in charge of this. Listen, listen. I need, I need, I need people who are vid who can do videography to, because I have an idea. I think. I don't know if I said it on the air last time, but I have an idea. I think what, we, what I want to do is I want to do a series called Perfected, in which literally I, we, we, the first one is- Right now he only has the bread. Right, but I like- And sous vide steaks. That's true, I can sous vide the hell out of a thing. Yeah. Now, the thing that I was thinking is, what if, now, again, this is not a side dish and I don't want to take away from the spirit of what the, the show is but i think it would be interesting to just pick a dish and see if over a certain amount of time you can get a what you would a group of people would consider a perfect version of that what do you think kind of like when we had the I ceviche I really was, but i is it like that when we had the ceviche no so it'd be me basically going out and doing a bunch of research and talk maybe going somewhere and like talking to like people about this aversion, how they make it and that kind of stuff. And then, but again, I don't know how to cut video together and make it look nice and all of that thing that you need to do to make that successful. Um, so, so it like that's not gonna probably not. Okay. So now what we need to do, uh, we need to, until it shimmers and then we need to wait, 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 before we get going here, let's turn this down. Oh, you need to make a cocktail. We need to make a cocktail. Or else everything's going to get crazy real fast. True. I mean, if we have enough of these cocktails, it's going to get crazy real fast. Too, so. <laughs> All right. So this is a very, um, I looked up we, how many, but like I have five or six of these online. Um, a Mexican firing squad is tequila, lime juice, grenadine. That's it. Now, there are some variations that take... Um, one of them had soda water. Yeah, you could do that. So I do have Topo Chico. Really concerned about the... Tiny whisk would never destroy my marriage. <laughs> so... Baby whisk might. Yeah. Yeah. Going to get... Yeah. All right, so this is a drink that is two ounces of tequila. So if you don't want... Oh. Side dish on low. Ooh. 
yeah, but it's, I got to travel with a bunch of stuff, and on a plane, it's not, I'd have to get a hard-sided case, and. Did you say we weren't, so we're not doing one when we're at. No, no, we are, we are, because we're driving. But we're not doing one the weekend before because we're not driving there right away. We're driving up the coast and then going. We're not just going to do it like on your little hot plate in the hotel. I mean, I think that might be that awesome. That sounds like fun. <laughs> we might. We might. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we feel because we're going to leave Friday and then drive as far as we can get before we get tired, which we thought, what, Crescent City? I think that's too far. Maybe you were That's what I was going to say. Um, depends. It depends on if we go out to Bodega Bay and up, then we're not going to get maybe Trinidad. Yeah. Okay, so three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Now, it was very specific. Yes. Every rest, I was like, three quarters of an ounce? Why don't you just round it up? He's like, I'm just going to round it up. And then I kept looking at no, three not. other recipes, and it was like, mm. I turned that off. Let's just, let's just be realistic. I can't do two things at once. I mean, I guess used correctly. I'm not sure how that would be. But. It always says, it always says. The episode where you got to drink in 10 minutes was why. <laughs> That's true. I forgot. And that was the one where Ping said, well, this is the earliest we've ever gotten to a drink. What happened now? That Now I'm at full screen on my phone. What is happening? I, I, who knows? Oh, wait, there we go. Sorry. I'm trying to see myself and... Why? You're a cockatiel? No, because I like to read the chat, too. But... I know, because you don't trust me that I'm reading it to you. Well, that's true, but I don't know what's happening. Anyways, like this video. Well, I'd like to have a boat. Can you show the juicer? Can you hold on a sec? Three more, two more that have to be made. So oh. that one was boring. Well, Landon might like one. Landon has to run in the leprechaun race tomorrow. I can do a little cocktail, I think. We could probably make these in a rocks glass. I think you should taste that and then see if it needs the. This will be yours. I mean, it's pretty boozy, but it's good. Can you put a little soda in there for me? Sure. Just let me go way over here. I love Tobo Chico. I bought some more today. I know you did. You're sold. Oh, you know what I could use? A new church key. Oh. You see I what I mean about why that's called a church key, but I know it is. I'm going that much. Which way you think is better? This way. Yeah. <laughs> Though I do like I do like it the other way. It's it's actually really interesting. It surely is pretty. It is. It should it, it is it is pretty and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> I knew that would get landed. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, here it comes. He didn't and I was like, he didn't say it first, which is great. And I'm gonna get him. Well, look, what, what I really liked about it is I was thinking it all the time. That's exactly, and I was like, is he going to say it? Is he going to say it? And you didn't say it, and I was like, yes! Because, I mean, are you going to, would you like it with Tapa Chico? Sure. I mean, you can have it anyway. I'll, I'll like. go with what Chef Doug thinks is best. Well, I'll tell you what. I will give you the cocktail with no Tapa Chico, and then you can add it if you want to. How about that? You're going to want it. I feel like I will. I, I, I do have to say, at first when you suggested it, I was against it. But then after seeing it go in, I was for it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Gross. Yes. Like That's that. how it went. Exactly like that. You like my new bottles? 
I showed him last week, but. Did you show the juicer? No, it's not yet. I'm still making cocktails because I like cocktails too. What? Do you think I forgot? I see. Yeah. Really? You didn't say anything, but this is what I, this is the look I got. Like I don't know what's up. I know what's up. Sounds ready. Have you ever been to a Turkish prison? I have not been to a Turkish prison, which is also an airplane line. Oh. Really? Is that what's happening? Yeah, but I think it was. It yeah, because the, the pilot's asking the kid, he's like, Tommy, do you like Roman gladiators? Or, or do you like gladiator movies? And then it, finally at the end of it, he says... Who's in this movie? It's a 1980... Leslie it? Nielsen? Yeah, he's, he's in it. Yeah, and? Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is in it. Um, there's a, it's like you'd recognize people in it. No, but Florence Henderson isn't, and she speaks jive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Taste that, then tell me what, what you think. You're gonna, you didn't put it in there? No, I told him we're going to try it first. I think it could use some, yeah. Okay. Really? I think it could use a lot, because your face said this. <laughs> <laughs> so it is no. very tequila -y. Yeah, that's why. But Can I like... Put the in? Oh, God, son of a motherless goat. I knew it because I was like, it smells too tequila-y, and it shouldn't if it had bitters in it. Just coming around the corner here, everybody. One, two, three, four, five. Just give it a swirl. Damn it, man. I, no, I don't think I've, maybe I've seen Airplane. I don't think so. I think you've probably seen it. At you least it's some. You. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, well then I will try it with the bitters all on its own. Airplane, and... airplane two, go watch it now. Yeah. No, not now, not now, not now. <laughs> Until we're done. What are you doing to me? Ooh, the bitters add. Yeah, and they kill, it kills the tequila smell yeah. when you are gonna drink it. Yeah. yeah. There's always screaming. We don't know what's going on. I'm scared. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm no. The Topo the Chico and bitters. the bitters. Yeah, I'm bad are at both this. Good I'm bad additions. at this. Listen, this is the why we do this. It's why one of the why it says chaos. <laughs> because this is all this is. It's a grown man pretending he knows what the hell is going on. And I happen to be that grown man, which is the scariest fault of it all, that somebody gives me, uh, you know, money to do a job, drive a car. I mean. They don't give me money to drive a car. Well, they should. I'm really good at it. Okay, don't forget the better. I'm not. So. Now, the, I, the recipe I was using, which I forgot the bitters and mem didn't memorize it, is five good dashes. One, two, three, four, five. I think I didn't get five in there. You're the chef. That's what they keep telling me. But I made so much bread. We made so much bread last week, and I gave a lot of it away. Probably. You made it. And then, um, and then when I was converting, I made two two more loaves and hot dog buns. So really, yeah. And they, I'm telling you, it might not just be the perfect sandwich bread. It might just be the perfect bread. That doesn't have any ice in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going down, you know. I don't know what's happening. I haven't had zero to drink, and I'm not otherwise impaired. <laughs> I just saw you sipping on drinks minutes ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, the color is even deeper. Yeah, it does change the color. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, with the bitters in it. It evens it out, but it, I, I do agree. 
It may be. Yeah. The bubbles. Yeah, I have a request to make. Mellow it out. I'm going to get the mix or the. No, I want you to put lids on things. Because it's getting kind of wild and I don't want things to stop. Okay. Just to be safe. Since I haven't tasted it with the Topo Chico and the critters. Oh, yeah, that's delightful. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. All right. Just a few lids. 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 Thank you. Um, so, I'm just going to say, oh, um, you guys ever watched that movie, The Gentleman, with, uh, uh, from Guy Ritchie? You should watch it. It's an excellent movie. I fell asleep to it multiple times last night. But that does not, a, that is not a, uh, 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 a hey guys, negative Hey, guys, wants movie. to, uh, redo this little guy and, like, Yes. Can we Sam zoom in somehow? Oh, yeah. If you go onto the iPad there and you go, just whoop, poke it. Whoop. Okay. Good. Okay. See, I don't. I think I the like chip that paint way. has character. No, I think it looks. I mean, will, will you tip it down this way? Yeah. There you go. I think it looks. You. Know, I don't up, like it. Up. There we go. I don't like it. I do like it. Say, okay, it's so getting well, some glare so tw twisted a little bit. How about that? Yeah. I think the people at home can we finish the paint in TV land can no. see. Yeah. Leave it as is. <laughs> I, I mean, I could. I can I can dance for an extra half hour if we need to. Forty five more minutes? I mean what do we gotta do? I could we got a bunch of hot oil. We could see what else we could uh, Okay, you put that. Put it, that's really heavy, by the way. I know. I was impressed that you held it aloft that far. I'm also so very strong. He's got strong delts. Yeah, it's true. Very strong, boy. Okay. Oh, Andrea. What? She says pink. That a girl. Okay. Where's, okay. Where's my heat? I think that was good because that gave that mixture some time to melt together. Well, I was just actually going to mention that too, my love. Yeah. And you need a scoop, though. I need a tablespoon scoop. There's dog hair in there. Of course there is. Fine, don't worry about it. Let's see. We go over this every single time of what looks like a tablespoon. That's like two tablespoons. Make sure it doesn't look like an ounce. <laughs> Landon knows from experience, everybody. Yes. Don't worry, this is fascinating television at the top of my coif head. <laughs> As I, I, don't worry, I just zoomed in on it. Perfect. Do I look like Philip J. Fry? Yes. How about this? Does that look like a I think that's a good size, yeah. Okay. Because they'll fry up faster and it'll get all the way through. Yeah. Because this, I assume, it'll be a very good quick. ratio of crispy ooh, ooh, to ooh. Yes. rest of the fries. This is a tablespoon. Oh, yeah. That's the one that. I think that's I've been my, looking for. It was behind the box. This uh, this whole this whole thing. That is not the baller you've been looking for. <laughs> these are not these are not the ballers you've been looking for. <laughs> yeah, a scoop. That's, my wife is telling me a reminder to move. I am moving. You are moving. <sighs> Only Andrea voted. She says paint it. Nobody else. Well, there you go. That's two against one. Deefy's still on uh, Team Amy, I bet, though. Yeah. So, yeah, what else can you fry? Will it fry? Oh, hey. Yep. Ran out of gas? Right on time. I know. That is so not I know. look what he did. I know. I know. Don't call health and safety on me. This isn't the bear. Ta da! <laughs> da 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 da! <laughs> the dance or do that? Both? That, you could have put it over there on the stove and it would have been. 
like you're bending over near that fryer. Oh. Making me nervous. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait one minute, and you're really not going to like me. <laughs> it's only 265 degrees. It would have been fine. Yeah, you'd be fine. It's severely scarred and burned and divorced, but you'd be fine. That's not lost of limb. Uh, I don't nope, know. nope. Your skin is like that's not a limb. Morgan, I guess, but gotcha. I know. Nope, you, don't no. be petty. <laughs> <laughs> if you lose, <laughs> sir, she says, "Go on, go." No, <laughs> no. Uh, a young man. Uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, so. So now we're waiting for the oil to come back up to temperature? Add a tablespoon and for about two minutes until. You have your spider? Per side, do I need to, well, it is a fritter. Yeah, you gotta flip it. You need your fish flipper. Don't you want it to be kind of flattened out? Well, I, I think it's gonna go. On its own. it's pretty wet. Okay, okay. Uh, here he is. There's only one way to know for sure. It's true. We just do it. And if I need to, I can flip, I can go boo. You can. What, what? You're looking at me. I just here. want to see what's happening. Oh, gotcha. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> We're trying to get this to 350. It's at 325 right now. So here is a thing that happened to us today. We went to an estate sale. Yes. And it happened to be on this street where Doug and I almost purchased a home. Mm -hmm. Really? But we really, in the past, we really felt like we dodged a bullet by not purchasing said home mm -hmm. and purchasing the, our original first home. However, this estate sale was right across the street. And the gal who had passed away, she passed away at 81, so that's good life she was a seamstress and i feel like would have been my best friend mm. yeah but the house was we had so, so tiny. much in common like we had the same random fabric in our collection she was a seamstress i quilt she, there were several other things that i was like oh my gosh i have that very thing or, yeah, I really felt like this woman and I would have been very good friends and lived right across the street from each other. Well, you'd have to spend all your time there because it's the only way we could live in that house. <laughs> but I could have because it could have been in our sewing studio. That's true. I'm just saying. But anyhow, she seemed delightful. And uh, I brought some of her Ooh. things home. Hopefully they'll be good for me too. They might be flattening out a little bit on their own. I think I might need to give them a little help though. I think you just that's... listen to that. Yeah. Sounds great. A little ASMR for you. Yeah. Oh, holy face! <laughs> Now listen, how could this be bad? How many are you putting in there? Well, there's only there's plenty of room. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is the, is the oil dropping, though? Is the oil temperature dropping? Yeah. It was hotter than it needed to be. So now it's a 350. It was a 368. So you dropped it like it was hot? I did. <laughs> dropped it like it's hot. Thank you, Denise. Getting a lot of, you're getting a lot of kudos there, man. I never get any kudos. Well, you know, that's what people are saying. <laughs> Look at that browning, everybody. Oh, yeah. Let me get in a little, change the, the angle here a little bit. Oh, yeah. Hey, can we, can we keep them a little to that side of the pan, Doug? Sure thing. Oh yeah. I think the the people in TV land appreciate that. No problem. I'm here to I'm here to um, I'm here to you know help out. Oh, would you look at that one? I got a little hot oil on my foot. Are you wearing flip flops? Uh, oh. Yes, I'm wearing flip flops. 
I don't wear dog blood and hot oil on your foot. Yeah, I literally have dog. Blood. That's true. Good point, Landon. Dog blood. That's not. A, that's like a real thing. I have dog blood. I mean, dog blood is a real thing. I'm not saying it's not a real thing. But. Dog something. Oh no, they bleed. <laughs> they bleed quite a quite a Brit. Brit. A Brit. So I'm just feeling these to see if they're firm, which they are. So. Whoa! Was that a kernel? Yeah. I think that got me. Yeah. Everybody be careful. That was like a mm. it got, real explosion. Hey, everybody, it got on the top of my head, and it hurts a lot. Ow! Sorry. Oh, it's on my hand, too. Okay, so what do we learn, everybody? Be careful. Maybe put that... That guard on there. Where is that guy? Okay. Well, yeah. Oh my God. Did it? Did it play well on camera, though? I yes. Know. I mean. Yes, oh my did. God. You okay? <laughs> I, I'm, I, that, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Are you okay? My hair. Rhiannon's gonna be like, "What the hell is this? Why do you have a burn on the top?" Oh, that's because this is way too hot. We gotta let this come down. What did we get up to there? What? 386. That's a little warm for it. <laughs> but. We got a tool for this. Yeah. yeah. That's why we have tools, folks, to, do, to prevent us from getting hot oil in our hair. <laughs> you need PPE, Teresa says. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Listen, this isn't a union job. Don't. Tell anybody. What are you doing there? Oh, that's it. Speaking of unions, Amy and I were discussing joining the International Brotherhood of Internet Video Photographers. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, the, con the conditions on set here are too dangerous uh, for you? Yeah, you know, that oil pop is just. I mean, it did hit you on the other side of the camera. Uh, I gotta tell you something. We make no money from this show, and I can't pay you. So, I'm sorry. Oh, flip away from yourself. Man, that I got now. I got now. I got hot burns on my hand. Yeah, put the thing on. I know, but I gotta push them down first. Oh my god, everybody! I wonder if we could get like a federal grant to do this for, show. For this show somehow, you know. Listen, if we could do that. We're in Easy Street. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point, Keen I thirty two. I'm, I'm not happy with what this tool is doing for for my production here. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not saying that the health and safety people are not right. I'm just saying it doesn't make for good TV. Seriously, I gotta get some water on that. On your head? My hand. You burnt your hand too. Uh, it exploded everywhere. <laughs> it exploded everywhere. <laughs> I know part of it landed on my phone and on my hand, but it's a teeny bit. I'm okay. Well, I'm glad you're okay because this guy got the worst of it. Could you imagine? I should have safety goggles or one of those like PPE things on there. You want a face shield? <laughs> Hold on, everybody. All right. Just all beat up, babe. I know. That's just my lot in life to be beat up. Ooh, those look good. See, this is what you want. You want a little bit more of this color and less of this color. Yeah, it's looking good though. Let's see what the temperature of the old. Yeah, we can put a camera under the screen when you buy me one. How about that? You should sign up for Amazon wishlist and buy me a coffee and all that. That's what the other people we watch on YouTube have. I'll probably have another blister. It's fine. You know what? You've already got one. What's not having another one? Again, on my right side. Yeah, your right side is cooler. What if I get a Phantom of the Opera mask? That's right. You could be like two-faced. Can you taste one? 
Yeah, you probably could. It's 8 o'clock, but I have to go to 8.30, so we got to make it less. We're not going to 8.30. We don't have to go to 8.30. Well, but Nate requested it, so. You guys he ever seen... requested or he just said, like, that's going to happen? No, he said that it would be helpful because then they can go right into Saturday Night Live. Oh. Uh, Saturday Night Live starts on at 30? Uh, well, they're, yeah, 11.30. 11 yeah. I thought it was a midnight thing. Clearly, I do not watch Saturday Night Live. Here you go. You can either take yours. I'll get you on a plate. Mm -hmm. No, no, honey. You stay in front of the camera. I'll get it. Have you guys ever seen on cooking shows where people just overdo it with, like, eating the food and how good it is? And you're like, this is borderline inappropriate. Yeah, where they're like, oh. Yeah. You, know who, you, know, you know who does it more than anybody else? It's like morning talk show hosts. Like, <laughs> and, and this will trigger Andrea, but the Today Show people do <laughs> Speaking of that, have you guys seen the the commercials for that company called Avalara? I don't even know what they do. I don't think so. I don't, but, we don't watch commercials normally. But. but yeah, they're like they say the name of the company Avalara, and it's just not appropriate. Um, Avalara. That's what it's like. No, that's what it's like. They they got they got like a a you know a very relaxed face. Yeah. You know, and they're saying it like that. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Do I do I just sound crazy I don't watch here? So. I'm looking I'm looking at the comments, guys. Help me out. Avalara? Or, or or Google it, but only after the show. Yeah. Avalara. Do not leave the stream. You know what? But but if you know what I'm talking about already, Mixed, feel free to leave Mixed a comment. The, the fritter? Yeah. This sauce is good. This sauce is good by itself. But it's really good. Oh, you didn't eat a fork? Oh, this fritter. Oh, that's, oh my God. That's really good. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, here we go. Mm. Ah, it's so good. The best fritter I've ever eaten. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you pay for a subscription? <laughs> I'm not sure, man. If somebody got you pay for a subscription to this, um, you got scammed. <laughs> Can I have the plate back? Yes. This is really good. That's very good. Like, actually, guys, what Doug said is not right. You paying me for the subscription to this is completely <laughs> above board. I knew there was a reason that you all of a sudden you're like, I gotta come to side dish. <laughs> you got your stuff. You got a side thing going, and you're like, I can monetize this, and I don't have to give Doug any money because he doesn't know anything. This is good. Yeah, these Doug are. Doug says this show doesn't make any money. Is no. Ow! God damn it! As soon as I took the guard off to get the things out of here. <sighs> it was lean and wait for you. I think at this point it's intelligent. The corn is coming to get me. You know, those are some excellent fritters, guys. You, you know, you're missing out. You, you guys are missing out. Listen, I, I, I've invited each and every one of you to come to this show. So the fact what that you haven't yet is not my fault. What about this guy? Have you invited him? He's, he's new. Yeah, Nate? No, that's Nate and Rachel. He's been here, right? He hasn't no, been. They didn't come for the show. Oh, I got you. But they have been to Reno for the air races. Oh, I'm yeah. trying to get when. If, isn't this. Are they. This is the last year for the air races? This is the last year here, yeah. Nate, are you guys coming? Um, Where are they going? Are you coming after? to the air races this year? I live on the East Coast. Yeah, they live in New York. Oh, Teresa wants to know if it's worth a walkabout. Come on over. Yes. It is. Th this is an advantage, Teresa, of living around the corner. <laughs> when we make something excellent on side dish, you just have to come around. It's five houses. It takes you three minutes. The, the fritters are delicious, actually. Yeah. yeah. What happened to Denise? I'm not sure what's happening. She like sort of disappeared and then she reappeared. Do you want to try? And the sauce goes well with it too. Yeah, it really, it really does. And like, I thought like the sauce was a little bit plain, but no. really, it's no. really good. Well, maybe it had enough time to sit together. And That's true. And meld. Yes, and meld. Okay. Yeah, that sounds too high. And you know what happens scary. when the oil gets too high? Doug gets burnt by hot corn oil. Yeah, I think this sauce is definitely worth a try. But the nice part about it, it's so simple. 
right? It's yeah. four ingredients. Um, King, I don't want to tell you your business, but you should not be eating at Chick Fil A because their uh, policies on women's health are barbaric. Also, you know the whole the uh, gay and lesbian community as well. Yeah, stop eating. And you know, I'll tell you if I'm if I'm in the mood for a fried chicken sandwich from fast food joint, I'm going with Wendy's. I'm going to Popeyes. Oh yeah, good call. The Popeyes chicken sandwich is excellent, and the spicy one, it'll make you sweat. Like that song, "Gonna Make You Sweat" from 1990. Everybody dance now! Bum 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 bum. Have you ever eaten from Super Chicks? I heard that place no. is really good too. I've never even heard of it. Yeah, no, you're, you're, my God, I am sweating so badly. Yeah. Maybe it's because I've been burned by, burned by oil multiple times. Yes, you come for side dish. We have extra room. We have two guest rooms. Yeah. Well, we will have two guests. <laughs> Currently, we have one occupied by Denise, well, but. She is our guest. That's right. B. Our guests be our guests. That's true. Well, that's that's the price of admission. We don't charge your rent. It's like an Airbnb that you just get you know, have oh, to do dishes. We do charge your rent though. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Whatever. Okay, guys. You know I've been looking at the comments. I still haven't heard any replies on the Avalara commercial. Don't don't leave me hanging here. Nobody one of you guys. On the one of you guys have got has got to see that inappropriate commercial. So, but, yeah, you're leaving me hanging right now. Good. It's good, huh? I'm gonna have another one. I got out that other that other sauce, but we don't need it. No. This sauce is good. You could put a little cilantro in this sauce. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Good call. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. 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 That, yes. that is so oh. hot. What happened there? I caught it. It fell apart. It's so good though. Like I, the the flavor, like all the way through. This is like a new, yeah, definitely should be a regular thing. Uh huh. It's How good. many did it? Is it gonna make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, almost oh, twenty. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, probably would be more if some of it didn't pop and explode everywhere. But. Do you have, an, so. Was We're that, coming over. Was that just one bag of corn or two bags? It wasn't even a full bag. Ooh, so you can make more Now, would it be safer just to brown them like on a grill? Like nah, because it's too wet. You need the oil. All right. You know the code to get in, don't you, Teresa? Yes, of course you can be a sous chef, Nate. Yes. If, that, if that were to happen, it'd be the best, might be one of the best shows we've ever done. It might be as, as close to getting a bunch of raccoons and chef's outfits, which was suggested to me would make the show even better. Oh, that's still gonna happen. Was that by Zach Brando? No, that was by Ted. Whoa. Look at the color on those guys. Yeah, they're good. Yep, we're gonna catch a bunch of raccoons that were in Ted's yard, get them in little chef coats and chef hats, and then they were just with their little tiny raccoon hands. They'd just be helping, but. Probably not, so. Okay, honey, our friends are coming over, so you have to wrap it up. I don't have to, they can come in and. Crap. No, the dogs are gonna lose Oh, their crap. that's true. But if Teresa just comes in the door. No. She's coming in, she, she knows, she's coming in. Okay, well, that's it. We did it. I burned myself, which is what you come here to see. I made it an amazing cocktail. We made an uh, amazing thing. You should definitely do this. Uh, I got this recipe. They're delicious. From, from, I got it from the website Delish. Um, but I can post it somewhere. And I, for, I was, uh, listen, I am still going to post the recipe for the bread, but I wanted to convert it to weight first because I think it'll be, it's easier to make that way. So, yeah, listen, if it could be, there's awards for uh, stuff on the internet called Webby's, and I'm telling you now, 
If everybody tells their friends and we get like 100 people watching this episode with you and me, Nate, it's, I mean, listen, it's just going to be a thing where you're going to have to just, I'm going to have to have you on standby on camera and just be like, all right, let's go to Nate and see what he's doing. But until then, uh, next week we should be here still. Yeah. But until then, uh, until then, um, we love you. I, this was so fun. Last week was really fun. Thank you for the praise. I, read, I went back and watched a lot of things that, you know, it made me feel pretty good about. That, yeah, I did feel really passionate about all the, the bread making, and so I'm glad that that was translated well. Um, but remember, we love you so much, and to be kind, be loyal, do something nice for somebody next week, and we will see you then. We love you. Bye. There.